Some of them are unknown and so do their names. Some are prominently constructed on the street. They can be for bodies or Taoist gods. In the past, constructing new temples was for the rich to show off their wealth. Temples not only have religious significance, but also become the core of each community. May it be big or small. A temple is a safe haven for the people in Taiwan. It is the epitome of the city and the silent witness of the changing society. According to the statistics, at the end of 2015, approximately 12,142 registered cases were filed. Taiwan has a total area of 36,000 square kilometers. There are nearly three temples per square kilometer on average. Taiwan's temple density ranks the highest in the world. The high density rate reflects the importance of the temple to the people, especially the devotees. MRT station is one of the indicators of regional modernization. Take the Xinjiang Line, for example. You can see there are two stations named from temples named on the road. Even in the modern city of the 21st century, it is not difficult to find the influence of temples in the heart of the people. Let's explore the temple culture that's undergoing transformation today. Most of Taiwan's temples are dominated by Southern Fujian style red brick buildings. The dragon and phoenix decoration on the roof shows the solemnity and status of the temple. The stone lion at the gate stands like a patron saint. Red lanterns full of Taiwanese features are hung under the roof. When we walk inside the temple, the air is filled with the smell of burning incense that make people feel calm. The elderly have the habit to come to light up incense, praying for peace. The youngsters come to pray for outstanding academic performance, idol couple, or a good career. The incense carries the wishes whispered by the worshippers to the ears of the gods. Yue Lao is Taiwan's Cupid who rules the marriage of the Chinese. Young people go to worship God of love and marriage and seek for the red lines that link you to your destiny spouse. The folk belief is that you should revisit the temple to think for the blessing when you find your master right. In the early days, Mazu was mainly worshipped by the fishermen who wanted to return home safely with a good harvest. The miracles of Mazu have become one of the most common folk beliefs. Mazu Madness in March is one of Taiwan's most celebrated annual cultural events. Every March, Mazu worshippers conduct large-scale activities for the pilgrimage and the number of participants exceeds millions. This shows the importance of Mazu in the heart of Taiwanese people. Wen Chang is one of the gods who mainly bless the intellectual and the test takers. It's very likely that all the students in Taiwan have visited Wen Chang Temple at least once in their lifetime. The temple can be seen full of students from everywhere when the examination season, who are praying for a good performance on the examination day. And when people encounter difficulties, they will seek directions and answers from their gods. People will use the moon blocks to get instruction from the gods. A block face upward with the other one facing downward means that the god allows your request. Other combinations means that the time is yet to come. In addition, some people will draw lots to seek a solution when they encounter difficulties in their daily lives. It is similar to the Japanese shrines. The contents of the lots will be explained on your own or the master in the temple according to your current situation. Comparing with churches, which tend to be more monodirectional and waiting for the miracles. The temples in Taiwan provide polydirectional communication with the gods by throwing the divining blocks and drawing lots. 
Nowadays, temples are not only the representation of a tradition, but it also begins to blend with modern appeals. For instance, in order to protect the environment, the Xingtian Temple has begun to advocate no offering and incense at the rituals, so that people can pray only with their both hands and sincerity. As time goes by, people's needs are changing. For the older generation, the temple is for pursuing a sense of security and belonging. As for the younger generation, we see for direction when we need to make decisions. The transformation of the temple allowed it to be in our lives subtly and indefinitely. Both of the temples have grown up with us in different eras and have always played an indispensable role in our lifetime. Even though the worship pattern and architectural appearance have changed a little bit, the temple always brings peace and encourage to us when we need it. We hope we can keep flourishing and blessing those who struggle in this hustle and bustle city.